Hi, in this session of LT drive test, we will be discussing about various drive test parameters. So, in this class, we will study parameters related to cell search. In window of temps, we can search cell parameters related to drive testing. So, the topic is cell search parameters. Now we have various parameters in this category of cell search that what are the factors we require if we want to search a cell. So very first parameter under this category is cell allowed measurement. Cell allowed measurement but bandwidth should be intra frequency that if we want to move within the same frequency what are the bandwidth required so it totally dependent upon number of resource blocks as we have minimum 6 and 100 resource block which totally depends upon bandwidth as LT offers scalable bandwidth from ranges of 1.4 to 20 megahertz so, if you are having 20 megahertz, the number of resource blocks will be 100. So, if I, we are having 1.4 megahertz only, in this case, the number of resource blocks will only be 6. So, cell allowed measurement bandwidth, which is intra frequency, that means within a same frequency, we want resource block to access. So, we have total number from 6 to 100. So, on an average, we can get 1 to 8 resource blocks per user and this number, that means number from 1 to 8, it totally dependent on the bandwidth allocated to us. So, that means this cell allowed measurement which is intra frequency and its resource block ranges from 6 to 100. So, we can get an, an average number of 1 to 8 resource blocks to the maximum. So, if I means if a UE or user equipment is connected to E node B. So, as per the request and the allowed bandwidth, E node B can allow 6 to 100 resource blocks. But how many UE is getting will tell me the average number. UE is having 2 resource block or UE is having 8 resource block. It could ranges from per user 1 to 8 number of resource blocks blocks. More the number of users at the cell, I will be resource block will be divided. So, this is the very first parameter in cell search procedure. Cell allowed measurement bandwidth should be intra frequency. Now, next parameter is cell allowed measurement and bandwidth is interfrequency. So, this parameter is interfrequency that means from one frequency to another. If you have in one cell, we are getting 20 megahertz, but after handover, we move to a cell that is giving me only 10 megahertz. So, the number of resource blocks totally dependent upon bandwidth. If a person or a UE under this cell is getting 8 RBs as the total number is 6 to 100. The maximum range specified in this is also 6 to 100. But it is not able to give 100 RBs because the bandwidth is less. So, this UE can get 4 also under this and which also depended upon the number of users. Because this E node B has to distribute the total number of resource blocks to the number of users. So, how many UE, one UE after handover and before handover, the number of resource block the UE is getting. So, these are the parameters which are related to bandwidth and resource blocks or we can say interfrequency or interfrequency number of resource blocks. Third parameter under this category of cell search parameter, the third one is cell downlink ERFCN, which is cell 
downlink ERFCN, which is evolved absolute radio frequency channel number. So this is interfrequency. That means from one frequency to another frequency, we require a channel number, which is my evolved absolute radio frequency channel number. Now we have a range specified for these numbers as from 0 to 39649. From 0 to 39649, we have a numbers defined for this channel number and the average value is 1 to 16 and this average value is per UE that means user equipment and from 0 to 39649 is my maximum lip and minimum. Remember this downlink ERFCN or uplink ERFCN that means evolved absolute radio frequency channel number is required only when we have to move on from one frequency to another frequency and it is not required within an intra-frequency network. That's why we don't have cell downlink in ERFC and intra-frequency. Now fourth parameter is related to cell only and this one is cell GRAN, GRAN ARFCN where GRAN is related to GSM H absolute radio frequency channel number and we have 1024 ARFCN available under this category. So if I specify the limit, it is from 0 to 1023 numbers I can have. So on an average, we can get again same as from 1 to 16 numbers. So this one is the total limit from 0 to 1023 and on, on an average limit, I have 1 to 16 and these numbers are used for inter radio access technology selection. These numbers that means GRAM ARFCNs are required whenever we have to move from one technology to another technology in case of handovers from LTE to GSM or from LTE to 3G servicing. So these are the four parameters which are related to ERFCN and bandwidth. Now next parameter in LT in this is cell Q hysteresis. It is an offset value which ranges from 0 to 24 and it can vary. From 0 to 1, 2, 3, so on up to 25 numbers we have. So we have again this cell Q hysteresis offset value also. And this offset value of cell Q ranges from minus of 24 to positive of 24 dB where dB is decibels. Now this is the offset for equal frequencies. Cell Q hysteresis and cell Q hysteresis offset is basically related to equal frequency differences. So next is cell Q Rx level, level minimum which is cell Q Rx level minimum Rx level as per the cell. Now the minimum Rx level it ranges from minus of 140 to positive of plus 44 dBm. Minimum reception level in a cell. That means a cell can receive signals from minimum of minus 140 and maximum of positive 44 decibels. Now here we can find out the sensitivity. Now my receiver cannot accept any signal below this value because this one is as the minimum level of the signal. So Rx level minimum. Now next parameter is
नेक्स्ट पैरामीटर इज सेल क्यू आर एक्स लेवल मिनिमम ऑफ सेट एट पैरामीटर दिस वन इज सेल क्यू आर एक्स लेवल मिनिमम एंड दिस वन इज माई ऑफसेट वैल्यू दिस ऑफसेट वैल्यू हैज रेंज फ्रॉम जीरो टू एट ऑफसेट नो ऑफसेट इज a signal qx level that means reception level is taken so that we can prioritically define uh, offset value i have rx level like 1 i'm changing to 2 then 3 that means my reception level keeps on changing from one parameter from one value to another value so what is the difference between the particular value will which will give me the offset value which could be very less if i am receiving here at this point value 50 and here 51 then it keeps on increasing or sometimes we keep on decreasing but at one point i am getting 55 and another point i am getting 60 and here i am getting 30 so how do why my offset value is decreasing or increasing i have more value so i require here is my problem so i require to have a particular offset value so that we can determine that how signal is varying according to the density now next one is related to neighbors now these are particular to cell the next category is related to neighbors so for handovers we require configurations of neighbors and values of neighbor so the very first parameter related to neighbor is neighbor cell rssi now neighbor cell rssi is reference symbol signal intensity and this value ranges from minus 140 to 25 positive of 25 dbm the signal intensity of the neighbor cell which i am getting here at one point should be ranges from minus of 140 to positive of 25 dbm so this one is of signal intensity next parameter is neighbor cell distance that means the distance from source to the target now it is specified in meters so it ranges from 0 to so 1 lakh meter that means 1 lakh meters are required no it could vary it could be 100 meters to 100 500 so but this is the maximum specified limit of the distance that your neighbor cell distance should be in a range of this distance value now coming on to next that means neighbor cell this one is my neighbor cell downlink erfcn that means absolute radio frequency channel number of lt erfcn now its range is same as that we have studied is 39649 so downlink air fcn should be within a range of this now next one is again neighbor cell this parameter is neighbor cell frame timing neighbor cell frame timing is basically to sell a frame to send a frame what is the time required so we have specified limit of the time and this time should be in the range of what we have specified so range is from 0 to 3079799 and this is time slot units that means this is seconds timing unit is in second frame timing neighbor cell frame timing is the frame received of a neighbor cell in a particular timing units 
Now we have to specify offset. That means the difference. So difference timing should also be read in this. What is the offset value? One frame. I have received frame one. Now I want to receive frame two. So what is the offset value? That means the difference between the two frames. And it should also be lie in this particular limit. So the parameter is neighbor cell it is frame timing offset and timing is again the same from 0 to 3071 seconds so these are the parameters which are related to the neighbor cell serving cell neighbor cell what is receiving? What is the timing difference for which timing my I am receiving the parameters from the network? Similarly, if I have two receivers, receiver 1 and receiver 2. So, the timing will be same from 0 to 3071 seconds. Now, next parameter. So, these are the parameters which are related to cell search and neighbor parameters. Now, next are some parameters which are there required in LTE system. So, first parameter is BFN. This parameter is BFN. B stand, B is node B. This is node B frame number counter. This parameter is Node B frame number counter. We have from 0 to 4095 frames. From 0 to 4095 frame and each frame is of 12 bits. So E node B is sending me frames from one frame after another frame. So, we have a counter here defined. So, 1 counter, 2, 3, so on up to 4095 from 0 to. So, this count or this number will tell us the total number of frames sent by node B. And the parameter which, is, which tells me about the total number of frames is BFN. Next Parameter is RFN. Next is RFN. And this frequency, uh, this parameter is RNC frame number counter. RFN as RNC frame number counter, again the same. That means from 0 to 405995 frames I have and each of having 12 bits. So this parameter will count the total number of frames from RNC. Or we can say in LT is as there is no radio network controller, so we have the same as BFN. Now next one is SFN. And this one is our system frame number counter. The system frame number counter, it will count the total number of frames sent on a BCCH frequency. That means the total frames on BCCH as these frames are used for paging or system information processes. So these are the and it's same as 4095 and each are having 12 bits. So these are the various type test parameters that we have discussed is related to cell search, neighbor cell and then some counters. So rest of the topics we will discuss in our next course. Thank you so much.